know who I am. I'm Lana Ripath. Hi. Um, so today I'm going to do my, what month are we on? Let's say, because it's the end of September, let's say my end September, start of October, like favourites. It's a weird time to do favourites, but I just wanted to do like a video that's old school and really fun and normal um but yeah let's just get to it if you like these kind of videos make sure and do a big thumbs up and also try hit that subscribe button down there so i get so <laughs> so you get notified every time i upload and also hit that subscribe bell just because youtube can be funny about the no notifications words notifications so just make sure and hit that bell so you do get definitely notified when I upload. <laughs> but yes, let's just get on to this favourite. Hi, so my first favourite is these lashes. So I'm actually an ambassador for these lashes. These are the Lena Beauty um, lashes in, which one are these? It's one of my faves, Pure Innocence. So they come in little packaging like this. Um, they are a wee bit pricier than like your Allure lashes and stuff like that but these are fake mink ones and also they are cruelty free and I think they're vegan friendly. Just ignore it. I'm not very good at putting eyelashes on so <laughs> but yeah as you can see they're really pretty on. I just want to show you what they look like when they're on and sorry about the eyeliner today. I literally am trying to use this thing that we got in Glossy Box and I'm trying to find a way to use it without me actually trying to kill the product because, yeah. But that is my first favourites. I will also leave a link down below. I'll set you up again. <laughs> I will leave the link down below to Lena Beauty Lashes. I do have a discount code for you guys. I think you get 10% off. I'll leave it down below. It's either 10 or 15% off if you use the code all low, like, low things, um, low font even, <laughs> um, Lana Redpath. So you get that discount code which gets you money off of these lashes. You can use these 20 times and they're really nice and easy to put on. They have a nice good band. It's not too thick but it's also not too thin. It's like the perfect in between for me personally anyway and they just look really fluttery and cute. But yeah, I would highly recommend these lashes. My other lashes, just to get them out of the way, which I don't have a code for, Doll Beauty, if you want to give me a code, hit me up, like, that'll be fab. But I'm sure they won't because I'm such a little YouTuber. But these are my favourite lashes. So if I'm not using my Lena Beauty ones, which I am a promoter for, but I don't, like, I want to be real about this. I don't promote something without loving it. So I definitely 100% love these and I know they come well and they come in good packaging and they're just really handy, good lashes. They'd be great in bulk orders for like proper MUAs and makeup artists. So yeah, if you are a makeup artist, these are fab. Also, they're just good for everyday. I mean, these ones aren't, but you do get other good everyday ones because these are a bit full on. I'm probably going to take them off after I do this video just because I'm not... I'm not used to wearing lashes every day. I kind of love it though, but um, yeah, if you're a girl that wears lashes every day or is a makeup artist, these are definitely worth buying. The other ones I love, which you can actually get in Topshop, are from Doll, Doll Beauty, but they're called Doll Lash. This is in the um, Frankie style. They are £10, so they're just roughly about the same as Lena. Um, Beauty, they have the same kind of band as Lena Beauty, which I love. These are really fluffy and feathery. I don't know if I can show you guys, but yeah, they're really like fluffy and feathery. I have used them before, that's why they're falling out. <laughs> but they're just super fluffy and all that. They are really pretty. That one's just gonna, it's just like not having it today. But that's what it looks like. It's really pretty, really nice, really flirty. But yeah, so if you're looking for good lashes, I'd highly recommend Lena Beauty 
or doll lashes if you haven't tried them before and um, they're just really really great things but obviously if you buy from Lena Beauty you get my discount code which is kind of a little bit of a bonus so yeah I'd recommend that <laughs> and then sorry I thought I heard like some noise or somebody climbing a ladder outside my house it's really creepy right moving on so I think I'm gonna start in skincare. So my next thing is from Origins. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, this is my Origins United State Balancing Tonic. This is really, really good. So I've tried heaps of stuff from Origins. My skin is just really temperamental. <laughs> it is combination. So I break out, yet I'm oily, yet I'm normal skin. So it's just like a combination of things <laughs> happening. Um, so this is the United States Balancing Tonic. It is good. It's like an in-between um, the original skin and an in-between the zero oil. It's like in that middle bit, which is what I need. So like, I would say this is the perfect tonic for me. I think it's $17.50. But yes, I love this. And yeah, I got it from my friends in Origins and I love it. The other thing sticking to my Origin skincare, I have a wee tester of the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Face Serum. I've used this ever since I've got it, but because I'm saving for Paris, I am really scared to rebuy this. This comes in, I think, at like 50 or 60 pounds. <laughs> so I'm really, really scared to buy this again. But it has improved my skin and it does make your skin like feel amazing and it is probably one of my favourites and yeah, well yeah, it's my favourite because I'm putting it in a favourite video. But yeah, um, it is really really nice and I think I will be buying this in the future, which I'm scared about. <laughs> the next thing sticking on to my skincare, I think this is my last skincare, yes. So. I got moved on from a couple moisturizers. So I started out in original skin, then I tried, I think, oh, what was it? A Perfect World moisturizer, which I think made it, my face too greasy. And then they've moved me on to the Just Sing Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I love, 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 love this. It is my favorite thing. The design is so, so cute. I mean, look at the top. I've got the, um, 75 mil so here's a little trick so when I went in and I spoke to the girls they actually said so you get a 25 mil one which is 25 pounds but if you buy this one it's 30 and you're getting 75 mils so I would recommend for a five or more to get this like it just doesn't make sense to get the cheaper one Um, for all it is it's a fiver difference it doesn't make a difference so if I'm if if you are going to buy this I personally would recommend getting the 75 mils it is so nice it smells of orange peels really nice it's just a gel moisturizer like I've been using this for nearly two to three like nearly a month yeah a month and this is how much I've got through like it's amazing um but yeah I highly recommend this if you have combination skin like me so my skin let's count it down so you guys understand my skin so I break out I have dry patches I'm oily in my t-zone but I'm normal everywhere else <laughs> so if you have all these factors that skincare is probably going to be the best for you so this is only 17.50 you are 30 pounds for this and um, this is 50 you don't really need this I just like it. What I would recommend getting if you're on a budget is this, this and getting, I have the original skin cleanser. So that three together are amazing. I forgot to get my original skin cleanser because that would have been in my favourites too. It's the one in like the pink bottle. So it's almost like take the day off bam. So you put a little dot, like you squeeze a little dot and then just put it on to a dry face and massage all the gunk off your face and then it's like it just kind of like melts it off your face like the take the day off balm from Clinique but it's not so oily and it doesn't break me out like take the day off balm does and um, 
Also, it smells of pomegranate, which I low-key love. Um, it's only 1752, so 1750, 1750, and 30. So you're about 75 pounds for the whole skincare, which yeah, is a lot, but it's quite cheap compared to some brands. So I would highly recommend that skincare if you have skin like me. It is amazing. Try Origins, they have skincare for every type of skin. And one, it's natural, and two, it's just, oh, it smells fucking bomb. Right, moving on from skincare, because I will rant about Origins and how much I love it otherwise. But yeah, moving on from drugstore, I have, you wouldn't think I only had this a month. This is the Makeup Revolution um, Reloaded Iconic Fever Palette. I love this. Right, wait till I, just wait. Like, oh, yes. So it has all these mattes. This is kind of like an in-between. It's more like a satin. This is your metallic sort of highlight shade. And then you have like, so you have one, two, three, four, five shimmers. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mattes and one satin. So, and this is only four pounds. So I would recommend these for any people starting off in makeup. They are bomb. I love them. I love this color scheme. If you have seen my channel, you will understand I am low-key, uh, <laughs> like warm colored, neutral color, warm, fire hot color. I don't even know how to explain it. I just like fiery colors. I like autumn fiery warm colors on your eyes. I love it. I like Jaclyn Hill eyes, okay? That is how we're gonna say it. I love Jaclyn Hill eyes, like a smoky brown eye. So if you like that too, highly recommend Makeup Revolution, their palettes, any kind. You get neutrals, you get everyday neutrals, you get fiery, you get like cool tones, you get everything. So have a wee look in your super drug because these are a bargain. <laughs> the next thing I got, I'm actually gonna stick to all the like, all the drugstore stuff first and then go into higher end. So another drugstore thing, I have never, can I just say, I've never liked drugstore foundations until I tried this one, which I think is brand new. This is the Rimmel um, Match Perfection Foundation. It says it is a 24 hour moisturize hydration and it is pore blurring effect it has spf 20 in it and it is invisible coverage and it makes your skin look perfect it is coating i have shade 110 fair porcelain this stuff is lovely like this is genuinely my favorite um drugstore foundation i've ever tried I can't remember how much it is. I will link everything below because I can't remember prices. But I love this. I highly recommend it. If you've, again, skin like me, it might work for you. Um, but yeah, I've just been really enjoying this for every day. Going around, doing stuff, foundation. <laughs> um, the other thing I've been loving, which I bought with that because it was on a three for two or something, um, is the Instafix Go 2-in-1 Priming and Setting Mist. This has a lovely spray. I don't know if you're going to see it. Can you see that mist? Also, low-key smells of watermelon. <laughs> I recommend this. I don't know how much it is, but it will be cheap because it's Rimmel. But it smells of watermelon. Who doesn't want a priming and setting spray that smells of watermelon? <laughs> like, you're crazy if you don't like that. So definitely, I recommend this. Love it. Been living in it. Yes, love it. The next thing I've been loving, this kind of counts as like drugstore because I got it off a of wish and I don't know if it's the real thing or not, but this is the Fasali Unicorn Essence, but I think it's meant to be a dupe for it. I'm not sure if it's real or not because I got it off wish, as I said, but it looks really real. Like, so you have this and it's like, uh, yellow. This is the one that went viral pretty much from Fasali. The unicorn essence that everyone drops the pink on their face and like rubs it in. This is a really good primer. I don't know if it's just the Wish one that's a good primer so I'll link it below but I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was like £3 on Wish 
and oh my god if you love a tacky ass primer where you can literally take your hands and feel the tackiness and feel like it's gonna stick like to your face that is what I love in a primer and this does that and I can see me buying it off Lish again because it's really really nice but yeah I would recommend it if you like that tacky feeling primers because yeah this does that and I feel like it keeps my makeup on longer so yeah, definitely a good find on Wish. And I will also leave my Wish link below because this isn't like sponsored by Wish or anything like that. I'm too small of a YouTuber to be sponsored, okay? But like, <laughs> yeah, everyone that has a Wish account has a discount code. So I will give you that in there too. So you get money off, which won't be a lot, but still, you know, save a girl a dollar. Well, not dollar, pounds in Britain. But yeah, save a girl money. So use that discount code and get it even cheaper. Uh, next things, I think... Oh no, this would still be drugstore. I got this in... So this isn't a favourite. <laughs> Let's just make this clear. But I wanted to talk about it with you. So I got this in Glossy Box. As you can see, I am wearing it today as a liner. I didn't know what to do with this. It is called an eyeshadow. So yeah, a cream eyeshadow. Why would somebody put a navy cream all over their lid? Like no, not happening. Also, I think I've got a video where I swatch it because of the glossy box. I think I did it in that video. But yeah, <sighs> hmm, right. This product is the hardest fucking product I've ever tried to work with. I don't recommend this. I will use it as an eyeliner just because I'm trying to use it up. And I mean, it does look bomb as an eyeliner, but I had to do so much fiddling to get it like that. That's why this eye isn't as good. It's like bumpy. Can you see that? Yeah, like it has little bumps. Like I had to use like two or three brushes just to get it even. Like, and I had to wait till one layer dried and do a second layer and like, yeah. Unless you have time in the morning to do that, do not recommend this. That is my only diss in this video. But I just wanted to warn you guys and it is by the company, this company? I don't know what that is, but yeah. If you see this, do not buy it. Not worth your money. No, just buy a blue eyeliner. <laughs> Honestly, it will make your life so much easier. Okay, going into more high-end stuff. So this is also something I got in Glossy Box. I've actually been low-key loving it more than Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm wearing it today. It's a better colour. It fits into my hair colour better, I think. And it's the Bang Beauty um, Dark Brown Brow Cream. So it's like a brow pomade. I mean, yes, it's harder to work with than the Anastasia Beverly Hills. You have to finesse with it. But for the price, I can't remember what price it was, but it was cheaper than the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the colour is a better colour for me. I feel like I could finesse with it just because one, it's a better colour for me. And two, yeah, it's cheaper. So, yeah. And... I can live. It's not like heart-wrenchingly annoying to work with. It's just you got to work with the product a little bit more than the Anastasia. But yeah, I'd highly recommend this if you like know how to like fill in your brows. But if you don't, I would probably avoid it. But I do love it for me. But I can see why people wouldn't love it because it takes a wee bit longer than the Anastasia. So yeah, it's just if you can be bothered to finesse and do stuff with it. But that's just my honesty. I do love it. Don't get me wrong. But it's just me. I don't care. Like, I'm quite chill. I'll sit there and do my brows. Like, yeah. Right, the next thing. Ooh, I forgot to put this in my skincare bit. So let's say this. So, like... I saw Zoella like posting her favourite spa cream but I never actually watched it, it was really bad. But yeah, I 
like realize I don't think I've ever showed you guys the drugstore spot cream that is the only spot cream that works for me. So Clean and Clear Advanced Spot Control Treatment Gel is fast action. I can't remember how much this is. I think it's like four pounds, but I love this stuff. I live on it. Like this is the only thing that keeps my spots half at bay. So yeah, I highly recommend this. Even if you're crystal acne, any kind of acne, like this is a good shout. Like, this is a little saviour. Okay, next thing, I, this is a tester, and I do, I'm wearing it today, this foundation, and it's stunning, don't get me wrong, but I am a Dior girl. <laughs> I'm, like, I can't deny that. Like, I'm a Dior makeup foundation girl. Like, all the foundations I love are from Dior. They just work for me. Um... This is actually one I got recommended. I can't remember if I showed this in a video or not. I might be going crazy. Maybe I've shown this in my last favourites. But if I have, just somebody say in the comments because but I love it so much I wanted to, to like share it again. But my friend Andrea, who is from Origins, um, she recommended this to me and this is the Star um, Dior Foundation. And I'm in shade Zero Twenty. I love, 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 love this so much. <laughs> like, it is stunning. Like, look at it. Like, can I just, just take a moment? Like, look how skin. I mean, just look. Like, it's flawless, and I have acne under there, and you can't see it. It's just flawless, and I love it. Like, and it's not like super high coverage, but it's not like super low coverage. It's like a good medium coverage. So yeah, if you have crazy, crazy acne that like you really need like a full, full coverage, this isn't going to be your girl. But if you are like me and just have like small little bumpy acne, it smooths that out, makes it really nice, makes your skin look like skin. I think it's 30 something pounds. Again, I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, I can see me buying this in the future because I just love it. <laughs> like, that is all there is to say about it. It is stunning. And it lasts on the face so fucking well. Just saying. Next thing I bought. So if you guys haven't seen In John Lewis Aberdeen, Becca opened. I was there on opening day. I love it. Like loved, love, 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 love that counter. <laughs> just saying. Um, just to be real though, I did try two back foundations. So one was the serum one and one was the 24 hours. I'm gonna be real. Like I low-key didn't like them. They just didn't work for me. Um so foundation wise, <laughs> I'm Personally, I'm just going to leave Becca with foundations. Like, they might work for someone else. They just didn't for me. Like, I feel really bad because I love Becca as a company, but the foundations didn't work for me personally. On the other hand, I do love their highlights. So I picked up another Champagne Pop, which I am wearing today. If you guys don't know what Champagne Pop is, it is the one that Jaclyn Hill released with Becca. It is stunning. I will swatch it for you. Can you see that? I don't know. Can you? Yeah, you can see that. Look how stunning that is. That's just with one swipe and it's also on my cheeks. Like, can you see how stunning that is? Like, it's stunning and it's what's in my inner corner too. So that is Champagne Pop from Becca. It retails, I think, for 32 or 34 pounds. So they aren't cheap highlights, but you get a good amount of product. I can't remember how much there is. There is 0 0.28 ounces in there. So it's a good amount of product. Lovely sturdy matte packaging with the like Becca symbol on the front. I love this highlighter. You can see me using it all the time. Well, I use it every day. Every day since I've got it, I've used it. Also, the other thing I really want to go back for at Becca is the Chrissy Teigen palette with the face stuff because I saw one of the girls put it on one of my friends at work and was like, oh, love that. So 
I will be going back and getting that at some point because it is cute. But yeah, I highly recommend this highlighter from Becca. Also, Opal is really stunning if you have like really light skin like me. So I know we're pale girls together. But yeah, pale girl problems. This is a good highlight. It's like a good gold highlight that doesn't look like you've put a bit of fake tan on your face and walked out. <laughs> so yeah, highly recommend this. The last favourite I have, of course, is the Norvita palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually use this nearly every day. Mine is a mess, so you can tell I use it a lot. Um, I love this palette. The only things I don't like in the palette is this colour is a wee bit finesky. You have to use a glitter glue. This colour you have to use a glitter glue and the blue can be chalky. Let's see if I can... Can you see that? That blue can be really chalky and hard to work with so it takes a wee bit of finesking again. Like you have to really finesse with that blue but once it's on the lid it blends like a dream. It is stunning. So if you are buying it just for that, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you are buying it as a whole palette, I would recommend it. I do love it and it is cruelty free and it has 18M in it. So, and yeah, it's just, it's a really nice palette. The only thing which I know every YouTuber says, I hate the fact the velvet gets dirty. Can they make it not velvet, please? <laughs> because it looks like I've literally smudged all my fingers all over it when I haven't. But it just gets really dirty easily. But I do love it and I would recommend it if you're looking for a good everyday, blendable, nice palette. So that is all my favourites today. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great weekend. Let me know what you think of all these favourites below, if you've tried any, what you think about them, all that jazz because I like to be nosy and yeah. Oh, my other last thing, even though it doesn't really count because I've just lost one, but I am getting them done in a week so it's fine, <laughs> I'll live. But this is my new favourite thing, my acrylic nails and everyone asks me where I get them done. So. If you are looking for a place in Aberdeen to go and get these done, because I live in Scotland near Aberdeen, um, so I get them done on Holborn Street at Venus, um, Venus Nail and Brow Bar. So to get them on newly fresh, I think you're either 32 and if you have a bit of chrome, you're 34. But then just to get infills every month, you're about £25. So she is really cheap, really reasonable, and they actually last on your nails. As long as you don't open like cans or do washing up, stuff like that, you are completely fine. So I can't do any washing up, like hand washing. My boyfriend has to do it all. And I can open cans of juice. So like I can open beans, I found out, like bean cans, which I'm really happy about because I was an it was annoying me. Like I like to just cook like by myself. That's my little relaxing, relaxing time alone. <laughs> so yeah, when my boyfriend comes in and tries to cook with me, I'm like, no, leave me alone. I'm trying to relax. <laughs> but yeah, so I would highly recommend them. I am going to be getting them changed. I was thinking to like a nice burnt orange for um, Halloween coming up. But yeah, this is my other favourite. Highly recommend them. They are so easy to maintain if you look after them. Also, they're just really pretty. The coffin style is the easiest to maintain. And yeah, I just enjoy them. So that is all my favourites today. I hope you enjoy this video. Again, excuse my hair because I know it's baby. <laughs> It's really annoying and not straightened and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later.